This copyrighted broadcast of the Lewis K. Judah Memorial American Legion Pool 63, Cape Girardeau, Missouri, and the Arena Sports Network may not be reproduced for any reason without express written consent. I am Alvin Washington, and we are now in the Ad Council Money frame, the top of the seventh as far as we can go, unless this game is tied in the bottom of the inning. The Seymour Strokers of the Senior Babe Ruth League leading your Cape Girardeau post-63 juniors. The score 4-2. to two. Leading off for the Seymour Strokers, back at the top of the order, Austin Hicks takes a ball outside. Austin Hicks has singled and scored a run. He's one for three, also with a strikeout. 4-4-1 four, four, and one for the Semo Strokers, 2-5-0 and oh for Kate Pull 63 Juniors. A swing and a foul just now. That's now a ball and a strike. Austin Hicks will be followed in the top of the order by Austin Teichman and Tim Clayton. Runs, single runs each for the Strokers in the second, third, fourth, and just now the sixth innings for the tally of four on the board. Cape Post 63 has had their chances. They have only been able to play two runs, one in each of the first and fifth innings. They truly had a chance with a bases-loaded bat rally in the fourth frame and could not pull it. We're now at the 3-1 on the count for Austin Hicks. Gabe Haas going the distance here for the Cape Legionnaires. The pitch here. Shot right off the glove. Legrand scoop off his back leg, and he got him. Well, Andrew Legrand has had a nice day today at second base. Another 4-3 in the books. Austin Teichman. And it looks like that was Hicks that was 4-3, not Mr. Make that Teichman not. Here's to be clean. It's all inside. One ball and no strikes. Ha, from the windup delivers. Rip shot, right baseman fought. Stumbled a bit, gathered himself a nice throw to first, five, three, and out number two. Cole Dempsey steps in. He has grounded out twice and has flown to center. He is 0 for 3. If you're looking to the Cape bottom of the seventh, Andrew Legrand, Caleb Ward, Brock Boyer in that order. First pitch from Gabe Haas here. Swing and a miss in the upper register, strike one. Some action going on here as the sunlight slowly dissipates. One strike against the here. That misses low and inside. I tell you, for what it's worth, Gabe Haas has control problems all day, and the only give up four runs is absolutely amazing. Because, I mean, he has been all over creation, including four wild pitches. 1-1 one, one pitch here. Ooh, wow, some sweet rib music. Two balls and a strike with two down. Here in the seventh, the Ad Council money frame in full effect. And not a single piece of wind to speak of. And we get corrected by our official score. There have been at least there have been now five recorded wild pitches. Two to Bobby Wright back in the second inning. He later scored on the RBI single by the pitcher, Zach Eggman. Three balls and a strike here to Cole Dempsey, swinging a foul, and the count is full. Should Dempsey get on, Tom Trankler waiting on deck. Count is full, two down. 4-2, Seymour Strokers lead. Haas, the pitch, swing and a miss, strike three. 6K of the 5th K of the day, I should say, for young Mr. Haas, who goes the distance. Now the question is, can 
post 63, put three on the board and give him some relief in what has been a really interesting day. We'll find out in a moment. Strokers four, post 63, two, and this is post 63 baseball on the Arena Sports Network. This is a test to find out if you know it all when it comes to children. Name one of the leading killers of U.S. children age 1 to 13. What's the best way to protect children in a car crash? At what age and size should a child start using a booster seat? Don't assume you know it all when it comes to car seats for your child. Go to safercar.gov slash the right seat and know for sure. Brought to you by the National Highway Traffic Safety Administration and the Ad Council. of the seventh is here on the Arena Sports Network. The Cape Pool 63 Junior Legionnaires trying to come back from down four to two against the Seymour Strokers of the Senior Babe Ruth League. Andrew LeGrand takes ball one. He'll take strike one right down central. LeGrand today has popped up to short and grounded to second. 0 for 2. 1-1 one, one here is a strike as well. Zane Eggerman trying to go the distance as well to pick up the complete game victory. And the right-hander with the 1-2 delivery. Fopped up. First base side. Just a shade foul. You know, for all the control issues that have happened today, especially for young Gabe Haas, to be within two runs of winning this ball game says a lot about the medal of this Cape Pull 63 junior team. 2-2 two, two to LeGrand. High and inside, full count. The leadoff man, Caleb Ward, the right fielder, waiting on deck. 3-2, and two, the pitch from Eggman. Rip shot. It's a slow roller at the third base for the throw to first. He got him there. Wow. Cole Dempsey couldn't have played that any better. Caleb Ward steps in. A, he walked and scored a run on the RBI double by Clay Reynolds back in the fifth. Officially 0 for 2 as he struck out swinging to lead off the game. Rips this one in the left center field and a fall for a hit. Get past the center fielder. On his horse for second is Ward. Or Dizzy. Ooh, he's, he holds up wisely. So Ward, who came into the game batting 321 with five batted in, wisely holds up at first. Brock Boyer. Who sacrificed Ward over in the fifth steps in. He's 0 for 2 with a strikeout. Throw back to first. Woo -wee 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 -wee. That one almost went past the first baseman as Eggman already has a failed pickoff from earlier this evening that allowed Jaquin Cummins to come over to second. That ball high and outside, ball one. Speaking of the aforementioned Mr. Cummins, he waits on deck to take yet another swing. Throw back to first again, nothing there. One zero count the pitch, swing and a miss in the upper register. Strike one. One ball, one strike. Throw back to first again. Nothing going. Still a little bit of gloaming out here. The 
the delivery. Fly ball. Center field. Will that fall? The answer is no. Preston Hahn right there to snag it for out number two on the F7. So the last hope for Cape Pulse 63 Juniors number this 11. evening falls Super on their leading Jaquan hitter, Jaquan Cummins. The shortstop, one for three with a score today. Looking to add to that ledger. Pitch here, high and outside, ball one. Should Cummins get on, Clay Reynolds steps in. Throw back the first, not there, as they continue to hold Caleb Ward. 1-0 count, the pitch from Cummins, from, from Eggman. Throw back the first, not there. Zane Eggman on the day with three Ks. He's had some solid defense behind him as well. 1-1 one, one pitch. This is going to go foul. And I believe Cummins and Cape Post 63 Juniors are down to their final strike of the night. One into the count with a 4-2 lead. The pitch from Eggman fouled off. To the first base side. The, now Cummins, by the way, does represent the tying run. If he does indeed get on. One and two to count the pitch from Eggman. High, outside, two and two. Two balls, two strikes, two outs. The pitch from Eggman again. Fly ball popped up. This is going to be the ball game. The catch made by Austin Hicks, and that will retire the side and this contest and another disappointing loss for Cape Pool 63. Your final, 4-2, to two, the SEMO Strokers Thanks take down Pool 63, the Cape Girardeau American Legion Juniors. Four two strokers. Short break, and we're back for in a moment to wrap it up. You are watching Cape Girardeau American Legion Pool 63 20, Juniors Baseball. <laughs> 